All right, I'll try to tie dye some shirts. I'll uh, put a link to the video on how I coiled these shirts up to prep them for tie dyeing. Uh, basically, just watched another YouTube video and uh, rolled them up and rubber band them out. So I've got some kids' shirts and uh, a stained up shirt. I wanted to see if we could salvage a stained up shirt by tie dyeing it. I don't know if it's possible, but. Basically rubber band all these up and uh, this is a work shirt of mine that came white and I figure I would try to tie dye it. A buddy of mine up at work did it first and uh, it turned out really awesome so I'm going to try my hand at it. Uh, $9 at Michael's is where I got this. Um, basically has all the nozzles um, and dye to make it happen so let's open it up and uh, take a peek at what all I got to do. to die in there not very much so that's the catch you could get a big old uh, thing of dye for like three bucks but you don't get these cool little squirty nozzles um, all right so let's read about this so a tie-dye kit let's see how this thing works move all that stuff out of the way oh boy this is no joke right here now so one, you add water. Now does the water have to be a specific temperature? Doesn't say in the quick details and then says let it sit for six hours uh, and then rinse. So it says uh, wear protective gloves, uh, add water to the fill line, uh, tighten the cap until the dye is dissolved, shake until the dye is dissolved. Uh, most of the other dyes that you know were three dollars a bottle, you actually uh, had to add um, hot water to it, and I don't see anywhere right away where you're supposed to add water to it. It does say pre-wash fabric to remove sizing. Do not use fabric softener or dryer sheet. So I didn't. I didn't pre-wash my work shirt, but the other shirts have definitely been washed and I've used the dryer sheet. So uh, using the wet technique, I uh, use directly from washer. Uh, if using the dry technique, first dry fabric and dryer. Wear protective gloves. Where's the wet and the dry technique? Which one's different? Applying dye. Doesn't really say. Uh, dry fabric. Apply to dry fabric. Check to make sure that the dye is penetrated into the folds. Do not oversaturate fabric. If dye applied too close together, the colors may be muddy. Um, wrap, set, and rinse. Cover the dyed fabric with the plastic wrap. Uh, keep it keep it damp. Uh, let's set four six to eight hours. Longer for more intense color. Rinse well with water until dye until excess dye is removed. Cover with bands if used. Fill washer to large load setting with hot water. Um, suitable for fabric and small amount of laundry soap wash and dry separately wash separately from first few washes so it's definitely saying that the colors will bleed is what it's trying to say there but uh, I'm not actually seeing where you have to uh, add hot water to these so I guess you just add uh, regular water to it and I guess I'm going to try the dry technique does it talk about the different techniques uh, techniques right here Necessary supplies. Rubber bands. Uh, okay, so I actually used the spiral method is what I looked up online. I actually ended up doing the spiral method um, for twisting it. It still doesn't say whether to damp them. 
damp the clothes. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to fill these up and uh, try it out. See what happens. So maybe I got gloves. Uh, I've got my own gloves. I'll just use those. I uh, probably should have just bought the cheaper dye, but I didn't. Uh, let's just see what these are. So rubber bands and, and what do you get? You get two sets of gloves. All right, so let's see if these gloves fit in my hands. Holy crud, they actually do fit my hands. That's crazy, kind of, except for the fingers are pretty tight. Uh, but that seems to work. So I guess I'll use these gloves then. Uh, I've already used rubber bands, my own rubber bands, so hopefully that's not an issue. So uh, I guess I'm going to try to do it right here on the table. This can't go wrong. All right, I went ahead and put a uh, trash bag down because I think this is going to get pretty messy. So I added warm water. It did not say to do that, but I went ahead and did because uh, at least whenever I was uh, hearing people talk about it on the interwebs, it was saying to do so. Um, eh, don't know exactly what I'm going to do. Let's just uh, try it out on this one first. And I'm going to try a little blue here. Oh, that's cool. Hello. Right, I don't think this is going to be enough to do all the shirts that I got, so I'm going to focus on my work shirt next. kind of cool though definitely uh, understand why people love doing this definitely creatively fun and my work shirt should look way more awesome than it did before just being plain white all right I already see an issue here so the issue is the drips that are around there. Uh, maybe I can soak it up. Maybe that'd be cool. Soak up those drippies and soak up those drippies with the flip side like that. Um, I don't know how that's going to work. And then wipe my hands in between here. Uh, and then do some more blue. yellow here and some more red Jesse you want to come check out the tie dye yeah. it's looking pretty awesome Soak up all the red. Why not? Seems fun. Uh, and then I want to scoot all this other stuff out of the way and make sure I dab up all the extra stuff here and then set it down. So I'm glad I bought some paper towels. Very important. All right. Next. Next for my workshop, now that I kind of understand what's going on. All right, so I did the spiral method also, and it's totally crushed. It looks like that spiral method is, is gone. But anyways, I'm gonna go for it here. All right, I'm gonna do some yellow in there, just in the center of that uh, spiral, just because I kind of want the center to look like, uh, you know, it's, I don't know. Uh, it's going to be the brightest. I did it around the, the 
logo of the company. So I don't know if that's going to look cool or not, but uh, I'm going to try it. Blue, or is it going to be turquoise, I think, is what the color is going to be after it's all said and done. I wonder how bad I messed up by not uh, pre-washing it. Um, the instructions definitely clearly said to do so. And I am choosing not to, which is probably silly. Alright, so I've got some extra blue there that I'm going to try to soak up with the edges. Waste not, won't not. Alright. Something like that. Uh, and then let's do some red over here. I, actually, red's going to be up by my face. Interesting. I don't know if that's a good thing, but that's the top of the shirt there. Do some uh, get get a little orange color there. Hopefully that'll look cool. Get a little green right here. Oh man, that already looks cool. Maybe a little purple. Make a little more green over here. I like the look of the green. It looks pretty cool. Oh no, don't squirt out that much now. Green. Yellow and blue make green. Very important here. <clears throat> well, it's looking kind of cool. Alright, they definitely say do not saturate, so I am going to try not to saturate it. Um, need to figure out a way to replicate colors on this side because I just kind of did it willy nilly. Alright, so yellow and blue here. make green and yellow in the center. We'll say the center is right there somewhere. Um, and then also, hello Jeremiah, how are you doing? Um, I'm recording trying to tie-dye. So this is my first attempt ever tie-dyeing. Y'all ever tie-dyed before? No. So basically you tie it in a knot and then you take dye and then you try to make pretty things from it. So it kind of looks like this is what some of the examples are. It's like socks and shirts. Uh, these are shirts is what this is. All right, so I'm gonna try to do green right here. So yellow and, yellow and blue make green. So I'm gonna make some green right there. All right, something like that. Boom. And then I'm gonna make some uh, orange. So red and yellow make orange. Something like that. Hopefully it'll look good. We'll find out together whether it's actually going to look good or not. Alright, now I need to figure out where. Alright, so I've got red, 
and blue, so red and then blue right there. So we're gonna do, how far does blue go out? Blue goes all the way around. Um, I'm just gonna use up all of the um, dye. So I made several shirts. Um, well, I rolled up several shirts and I don't know how many I'm actually going to be able to do. But I'm trying here. You gonna sell them? Nope, I'm gonna wear them. All of them? No, the kids, these are a couple of the kids shirts here. Soak up the blue like this. Dip, dip, dip. Dip, dip, dip. Look at that. Works like a champ. Works like a champ. All right, so that's fairly good. They said don't saturate it, so the problem is I want just a little bit more color. Just a titch more color, especially up by my collar. So this is where my collar is right here. I want that to be nice and colorful. If I'm gonna have a collar, I might as well have it colorful, right? Yeah, yeah, the only one is here. Uh, I think the girls are upstairs. If you're gonna go up there and say hello to them. Is the front door closed? Will you go check for me? Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. All right, so I think I got a little extra color left over for. Yeah, that looks cool. Get a little, uh, little purple right here. Set that there. <clears throat> All right, I think I got a little bit more color for a couple more shirts. Make one for Cassie here. So this is a shirt for Cassie. Uh, I don't know how pink's going to work. So this is actually a pink shirt. No clue what that's going to look like, but hopefully it looks pretty. And do some red right there. Purple it up also. Alright, so that's three. Uh, now I need to decide whether or not I want to add just a little more color to my work shirt, which that's the main one that I care about, or should I do one more shirt? I think I got just enough for one more shirt if I do that. What to do, what to do. Let's take a peek. Are the girls upstairs? Yeah. They are? Yeah. So this one looks pretty good. I definitely don't want to muddy the colors too much. So if I put too much color on there, it could mess up the colors and like blur them all together and it just probably wouldn't look very good. So this shirt is stained. So it's got stains all over it. I wonder if I can hide the stains 
with tie dye? I don't know. I figure I would try. So I'm gonna go for it here. Uh, and then let's add some red right there where those stains are. All right. And then we got a little bit more. We got more blue than we have any other color right now. So this is gonna be mostly blue shirt then since I've got more blue than I have of any other color. Uh, and I'll add some yellow here. Mm, I like the way the yellow mixes with the other colors. It's really pretty. Uh, and then we'll drip a little bit of yellow there. And we'll flip it over and we'll try to do the same thing on the other side. We'll see how that works out. It's probably not gonna work out very well. Uh, boom, like that. And then we have just a titch of yellow right there. Hopefully that's gonna look pretty. Titch of yellow and a titch of red right here. And I'm dripping it off of the shirt. That's not the best thing to do. All right, and some turquoise. That should be pretty. Like this. Mm, I really like that turquoise. I just like blue anyways. What's your favorite color? Pink. Pink? Nice. I actually have several pink ties. Do you believe that? No. I do, for real. just about going to use all this up right here. So I ended up getting four shirts out of this. That's kind of cool. Uh, most of them are kid shirts, but you know, whatever. Same difference, right? Mm -hmm. Still four shirts. That still counts. Don't squirt it outside. Let's move this forward a little bit. So this can actually be in the camera. That's, that's it. Oh, no more red. But the good news is I still have blue. Jeremiah, what do you think? Think they're gonna look good? Yeah. I hope so, because this is actually my work shirt. A buddy of mine up at work actually uh, decided that he was going to tie and dye his shirts. And uh, I thought it was an awesome idea. Uh, so I went for it. I'm going for it also. Oh no, all done on the yellow. Let's make the blue even more beautiful. So this is gonna be a greenish color because I'm mixing yellow and blue together. So that should be really pretty. And then we'll blend a little blue and red and that's gonna make some purple. And then hopefully, if I'm really lucky, I'll get a little pink in there too. I think I will. I think I will. All right, so all done on applying the dye. Now I have to wrap them up in a plastic bag to separate the colors. But I think I'm going to dab these just to dab all the extra color off. Make sure I don't pick up any extra color that I don't want. I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of randomly doing it anyway, so it really doesn't matter, right? If it gets a little extra color, it's not going to matter too much. I think it looks all right. Now I just need to wrap them up. <coughs> and I will use only the highest quality of bags, uh, grocery bags, uh, because I have way too many of them. And uh, I'm going to put my work shirt in first because that's the one I care about the most. Okay. 
not sure how tight you're supposed to make that bag, but I'm just going to kind of tie it off to keep things from falling down in it, I assume. So boom, done there. And I've got a little bit of dye right there. And I should be able to uh, wrap up the other ones fairly easily. shirts prepared and only got four of them done but I actually uh, think that I'm turning out all right. Thank you. All right then it says to uh, put them out in the sun or at least that's what I read on the other ones. I don't know if that's true for this stuff. Um, I'm going to wash these out though. Wash these out and I could probably reuse them. All right, just put the uh, tie-dye shirts in the bags out here in the sun to dry. Put them on top of the wood pile. So what I'm thinking is the uh, silver reflective stuff will reflect a lot more heat back up in there. Uh, that's what I'm hoping. So we'll see. I'm probably going to leave it out here all day today and then uh, all day tomorrow. Let's see what time it is now. It is. 40 so I'm gonna get some pretty solid sun for the next uh, uh, yeah, four hours basically pretty decent sun so should be nice and hot all right so did the shirts at like three o'clock yesterday it is now the next morning hopefully it's not overdone it is time to do this part hey. to rinse it out. So the key is to leave it together and then rinse it out, you know, with the rubber band still on there. So we'll see. All right, so this is what they look like the next morning. Uh, hopefully that's what they're supposed to look like. I ended up moving these just because the uh, tarp was blowing them around. But, uh, all right. So time to bring them inside. Jesse, you ready? Mm-hmm. Boom. Who's excited? Me. <laughs> All right, let's see how well these gloves get. Big hands on day two. I probably can wait until my hands dried out a little bit because I just got through washing them. Probably not a smart decision. Uh, boy, I'm already ripping them to shreds. My hands are too damp. I have to give it a minute. All right, these gloves just don't fit big dudes, unfortunately. these puppies out to what we get. Uh, still looks pretty good. Looks pretty good on the back side. Bad. So you just rinse it, I guess, until no more dye comes out. That's the point. Not sure how long I'll take. I'm just gonna use cold water. It doesn't say to use hot or cold water. And I just got my glove all wet. Dead gimmick. Inside of the glove, horribly wet. Oh, 
Mm, I think this is going to take a long time. say water perspective that makes sense but I wonder if the dyes are going to run together that would be not awesome so here's the so this is the stained up shirt um I was gonna see if I could salvage it you know since it kind of looks like you have stains on it would dye anyways see what it looks like with uh with tie-dyed a stained shirt interesting so This shirt kind of looks like well no there's still there's still some dye coming out. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get them all going at the same time, just to save some water. Together. That can't be wrong, right? shirt because that's the one I care about the most. I'm going to spread it apart a little bit just in hopes of getting some more water down in there maybe. Try to get that dye out of there. This one's running clear at this point, so I'm gonna squeeze a little bit, see what happens. So I think the work shirt is done. At least it's good enough. Get some of these. <coughs> Throw all this in the trash. I'll still got my gloves on. Definitely still running color out of it.
still got quite a bit of color strung out of it. Smaller shirts are definitely seeing all the colors come out. see some color coming out of this one the more I'm stretching it. Uh, it does just say run it under water under the water until uh, until all the colors are new or until you don't see any more color running out of it. Uh, it does not say stretch the fabric like I'm doing uh, in the instructions but I feel like for getting water down through there this would make the most sense. We'll see how bad I messed up. So yet another thing that I didn't do right was we use fabric softener softener on uh, on all these clothes, and it definitely said do not do that. Uh, so maybe the colors won't last as long because the fabric softener is kind of clinging to the fabric, kind of coating it. Um, so that might be part of the problem why they tell you not to do it. Um, but yeah. and my work shirt I did not wash beforehand, so who knows? Who knows? Maybe if I did that right. I'm gonna count that as good though. Get some water running down through all those for a minute. <coughs> I think we're pretty close to cutting them out and looking at them over here at the kids first though. Let them see it. Hey kiddies, I'm rinsing the inside out shirt. You want to come see it? I, I think I'm ready to cut the rubber bands. Yep. Dun dun dun. I got um, three Dr. Panda apps. So here goes one shirt. All right, let's cut it open. See what it looks like. Y'all ready? Uh, well, I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna remove the rubber bands. In the instructions, they say cut the shirt. Let's see what it looks like. Cut cut. cut. Oh boy, look at that. Does that look good? That's Jesse's. Man, that looks awesome. Jesse, are you going to have fun with that shirt? Mm -hmm. That's my shirt. No, that's Jesse's. I know, but it's my shirt right there. Wrapped up. Alright, so, I'm going to hang that right Mine here. Mine is pink. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Alright, so, one, let's remove these. Put next to that. Pick one. <laughs> oh, here goes Cassie's shirt. Oh. What do you think, Cassie? Pretty. Be careful, don't hit the camera, Jesse. Don't hit the camera. The camera's still recording, Bo. Stop it! In the box. Alright, so we gotta go put these all in the washing machine. Okay. Uh, look. Oh. No, I go pay attention to the shirts for a minute. We're almost done. Oh boy, that looks pretty cool, Alyssa. Wait. <coughs> Let's go. It's coming short. 
Check it out. That looks pretty good, huh? No more stains, Lisa. I know, you can't even see the stains. That's the one with the stains. It's crazy. All right, let's see how crazy daddy's shirt looks. Yeah, this is, um, to, um, your work? Uh, that's my plan. Oh, boy, what do you think? Wow, that looks crazy. Are you going to wear that to... Yeah, I'm going to wear it to work. Why not? <gasps> Alright, so it looks like all the color or all the dye has already uh, kind of rinsed out. So I'm going to get these up to the washing machine right now and wash them. Lissa, will you flip this little button right here? Flip this button all the way back, right there. That button, flip it all the way back. Yep. Alright, just finished washing. Kind of pulled it out. Looks like color's definitely slightly lighter. But, uh, washed it with some other stuff just to see if it would stain it. And, uh, I'm not really seeing it stain anything. It looks fine. Um, so, it says to dry it and uh, color good. Now, dry sheet? Yes, dry sheet. Definitely dry sheet. Dye dye is now done. It is out of the dryer and the washing machine. And uh, this is it. You ready? shirt and uh, I think it looks pretty good so one thing that I tried to do was actually you know spin the fabric right there from the logo so it'd be more seeable which is kind of cool uh, but all in all I think that looks pretty good so I spun all of these um, I kind of like that little pinwheel look but this shirt right here actually had some pretty, I guess it was paint. It was kind of like, uh, like finger paint almost that had stained through here. And, uh, you know, kind of blends in nicely with uh, the tie-dye, you know, randomness. Uh, I think it turned out good enough. I'll definitely wear them. All right, I flipped each of them over to the back side, or in one case, the front side. But uh, so this is where I started the spin, and then spun all the fabric out, and tried to make as small a pleats as I could, you know, for each of these. And uh, I think it looked pretty freaking awesome. And this is kind of cool. They color me Jesus, which it was a white T-shirt before. Uh, I guess that's what they were going to do with the Vacation Bible School, but didn't end up doing it. Uh, and this is the stained up shirt that had stains on it. It's mostly right along here is where the stains were and maybe on the front. I don't even see them now. Yeah, no, this is it right here. So it's this darker orange, but I mean, unless I were to point it out, I think it would be, most people would be hard pressed to find it. And then this shirt was actually not white. It was actually a light pink. So you can kind of see that here, but uh, I think it still turned out Turned out great in my opinion.